Mass Effect 2 is one of the biggest titles of 2010, and while its sci-fi setting makes for a great video game, I'm joined now by Dr. Micho Kaku to help separate fact from fiction. Now, let's start by talking about a part of Mass Effect 2 that seems a little feasible, the invisibility cloaks in combat. How far away are we from actually seeing that technology in the real world? I think in a few decades, we may have something resembling the Harry Potter invisibility cloak. You'll go like this and literally come invisible. With microwave radiation, we can already make an object disappear. Microwave radiation can go around an object, wrap around, reform at the other end as if you are not there at all. Within a few more decades, we hope to have maybe a cylinder. Anyone inside the cylinder would be invisible because light would wrap around the object and reform at the other end. And who knows? The military is funding this research right now. They're not stupid. They realize that, hey, invisible soldiers, invisible tanks, invisible airplanes are much better than stealth bombers, which you can actually see with the naked eye. There's a class of characters in Mass Effect that utilize biotics, which is telekinesis, to shift objects in the room and, and utilize the environment as a weapon. How realistic is that? When we think of psychokinesis, we think of the power of a god, the ability to move objects around us. Actually, with EEG scans and MRI scans, we're now beginning to decode the basic operating system of the mind in some sense. We can actually hook that up now to a computer and have computer move objects. In the future, we'll have superconductors based in different objects. So with the human mind, we'll activate a computer, which will in turn move objects around us. Just like the force, we'll be able to use the power of the mind to energize a computer to literally levitate and move objects around us. We're gonna talk about the mass effect fields now and also